Hi, I'm Chef David Wolfman, and today we're going to marinate some duck breasts. We're going to heat up the grill and cook them to perfection. We're going to make a cauliflower rice to serve with the duck. And we're also going to prepare a glaze using fresh Ontario peaches. We are fortunate to be able to buy peaches year round in Ontario, but August is the time to really enjoy eating fresh, locally grown Ontario peaches. There are two stages in preparing the duck for the grill. First, we're going to score it with a very sharp knife, and then we're going to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. There are two reasons why I like to score the duck breast. The first is to allow some of the fat from just under the skin to come out in the pan and add lots of flavor while it's cooking. The second is to keep the duck breast from curling while I'm grilling it. So let me set this aside while I make the peach glaze. So I'm using four peaches roughly chopped. I'm using four tablespoons of bourbon whiskey. I'm using a half a cup of maple syrup. And two tablespoons of lime juice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this to a boil, turn it down to simmer, and let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. While the glaze is cooking, I'm going to marinate the duck breast. So what I have here is some minced garlic. I also have some maple syrup, some red wine vinegar, and some olive oil. And I'm just going to whisk this up. Now I'm going to put the duck in the marinade and let it get all of that flavor. Now I'm also going to flip it over periodically, but it's going to marinate anywhere from 30 minutes to one hour. So the peaches are done now. So I'm going to remove them from the heat to cool. And while the peaches are cooling, I'm going to get the cauliflower ready. So we're going to rice our cauliflower. You could use a box grater, use a French knife, or you could use a food processor like I'm going to do. I just generally pulse it lightly to get that nice texture. And it's ready. And now's the fun part when we get to blend the peaches into a smooth sauce. Now I'm gonna add the garlic, the red wine vinegar, the Dijon mustard, the salt and the pepper and my fresh thyme. And now the glaze is almost ready. I'm going to put it on very low heat, get all those flavors mixed together, the garlic cooking and everything until everything is ready. And now the duck is marinated long enough. I like to use a cold cast iron pan. This keeps the duck from curling. It's very important not to fuss with it, just to leave it alone and let it get golden brown. So now it's sizzling. I'm going to let it cook for about three minutes. And I'm going to turn it to medium high and get it crispy. So now that's been another two minutes. And I take a look at this and it is cut, cooked to perfection. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it cook for another two to four minutes and maybe even five minutes because my duck is pretty thick. So if you have a digital thermometer, you can check the temperature. It should read 165 Fahrenheit, unless you like it a little bit rare. Wow, do our ducks ever look great. So now I'm just gonna turn it off and let it cool. I got a pan heating up here. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter to that. Add some diced onions. So I'm adding the chicken stock now and I'm going to bring it to a simmer. Let's add the cauliflower. We're going to also add in the salt and pepper and I'm going to cover it and let it cook for six to eight minutes. We're going to add some dried cranberries. I have some toasted almonds, Got a little bit of chopped parsley to give it some nice color. And we're just going to mix this up and get ready to plate our duck. Okay. There's the duck looking very nice. It's rested for a couple of minutes and now we're just going to slice it. 
So the cauliflower is cooked, the bourbon peach glaze is reduced nicely, the duck is sliced, let's get plating. We're gonna start off with a bed of this beautiful cauliflower rice. Next, we'll put the sliced duck on top. Okay, so let's put on the bourbon peach glaze. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. The recipe is available through the Ontario Produce Marketing Association's website. I'm Chef David Wolfman. Now let's eat.